Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the benefits of using a dedicated IP or five reasons you might want to use one. So first up, let's go ahead and decide what a dedicated IP is. A dedicated IP is essentially a static IP you're going to be using. That is just one IP unique to you. You're not sharing an IP with other users. The IP is your unique IP. It's not your real IP, but it's the IP assigned to you from your VPN. Now, there are a lot of naysayers out there. In fact, a lot of VPNs refuse to offer dedicated IPs because they say it makes you less anonymous. However, I would argue that at the end of the day, VPNs don't truly offer true anonymity in the first place. Basically, the main point of VPNs is to give you anonymity from your internet service provider to make it hard for them to track you on a massive scale, to protect you from massive data surveillance programs, and just to protect your overall privacy. It's not gonna make you anonymous per se, but it's gonna make you much harder to track down and I don't know if a dedicated IP necessarily goes against that. If you're using a dedicated IP, you're still obfuscating your normal IP address, and it will be much harder to track you down and assign you to ads or any other things that you might be trying to avoid being tracked on from the internet. It's essentially going to be like your new IP or your cloaked IP that is the same IP you're using all the time. So of course it might be a little bit easier to ascertain, um, but for most people, it's still going to be pretty anonymous and still much more secure than using your real IP while browsing the internet. Additionally, you might have more anonymity with shared IPs and stuff like that. But for most people who are looking to use dedicated IPs, they're not really concerned about that 100% anonymity factor. They're more concerned with getting more ease of use and usability while still having a good layer of privacy while using a VPN. Now that's why I want to go into some of the reasons why you might want to use a dedicated IP. Um, going into this video now one of the best things about using a unique IP or your own IP is that websites start to recognize it as you and assign that to your account so they don't know your real IP but they will kind of recognize that it's you and you'll get less captures and you'll get less websites having verification issues and stuff like that this is a kind of an annoying thing with VPNs and it can help you use things more effectively when using a VPN having that encryption but also letting websites recognize you at a basic level, but not at a true level. Additionally, some websites let you whitelist specific IPs. Some websites have very tight security, some email platforms, some websites. So if you have a dedicated IP that you can whitelist, you can gain access to that website and servers and stuff like that. So a lot of times having a strict IP um, with your VPN is actually bonus to security because certain services online can use that whitelisting feature. One other thing is that when you're using a VPN and using a shared IP, like I said before, especially with banks, if they recognize you as a strange IP, they sometimes might block you from accessing it or they could even find something sketchy going on with your payments. So using that dedicated IP can help you with that in combination with um, getting rid of most of those CAPTCHAs. Another bad side of using a shared IP or a normal VPN IP and a benefit of using a dedicated one is that you can kind of get around certain blacklists. Certain websites actually have blacklists of VPNs. They don't want you using a VPN while using it. Ironically, some VPN websites themselves will let you visit their main website page while using a VPN. But when you're using a dedicated IP, you can actually circumvent a lot of these restrictions and that's pretty cool. That's one reason why TorGuard is one of the VPNs that uses dedicated and kind of these streaming IPs to unblock your restrictions. And it is actually a pretty effective method that's worked for a number of years. So guys, I think there's plenty of reasons to using a dedicated IP. Whether you want the more convenience factor while browsing, you're tired of websites locking you out, giving you captures, whether you want to whitelist a secure dedicated IP, or what you want to bypass restrictions or stuff like that that you might have noticed with VPNs, there's plenty of reasons to use one. So which VPN is the best to set up a dedicated IP with? Well, there are a couple of VPNs out there that actually do have dedicated IPs. Some VPNs like Nord have them and even Winscribe and some other ones, but it gets pretty expensive with most of these services, up to $100 plus a year or even more, uh, in addition to your VPN subscription. That's why here on the channel, I'm going to be recommending you to use TorGuard VPN. TorGuard VPN is unique because it has a VPN Pro bundle, and what this does is it gives you an IP included. It's called Anonymous VPN Pro, and you can see with code THOMASPARK2022, you could get it for around $650 a month 
or even cheaper per year. So if you click there, it's gonna be around $60 a year and you get that streaming or dedicated IP included. Basically, you just see it here. Um, you could click on the link in the description or pin comment below or use code TomSpark2022 and you just pick this pro plan. One streaming IP or dedicated IP included for around $520 a month, around $60 a year. It's probably the best deal you're gonna be able to find on these dedicated IPs. Like I said before, most other VPNs will charge you $100 to $200 a year, bulk price with VPN use included. So $60 a year or $200 a year, it's kind of a no-brainer. And one reason why I always think TorGuard VPN is excellent when it comes to these add-ons and things like that that are so useful. So guys, check that out in the description and pin comment below if you're interested. I thought this would be a cool video to let you guys know some of the benefits of dedicated IPs. I know a lot of VPNs don't offer them, but I honestly think that's kind of a shame since they do have their use cases. Anyways, guys, see you in the next video very soon.